Pathpilot Quick Tips, Robot Edition. Today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the user interface for Pathpilot Robot. If you use regular Pathpilot on our milling machines or our routers or our lathes or our plasma, uh, this is going to look really familiar to you. The first screen you encounter is going to have two separate uh, areas. We have what we call the persistent controls along the bottom. That lower third of the screen, it stays there no matter what you do up here. The leftmost third of the screen is devoted to program controls. These are things that start a program, modify a running program like stop or single block or feed hold or MO and break, or uh, feed rate and max velocity override sliders. So if you're running a program or if you're about to run a program, this is the corner of the screen that you're going to be looking at. The middle of the persistent controls is the position and status readout group. We have here DROs that you can actually enter values into that show the Cartesian position of the robot. Now these can change depending on whether you're in world coordinates or in user frame coordinates, whether you have a tool offset applied. We'll cover all that in a different video, but for now you can realize 567 is the current X coordinate in millimeters away from the base origin of the machine right now, and so on and so forth, all the way XYZ, ABC uh, coordinates. And then we have the actual position readouts in joint angles of joints one through six here. And we display units down here. You could display this in inches or in radians. Um, currently I have it set to display in millimeters and degrees. The third group here uh, has to do with jogging the machine and we have some jog controls. They're covered in another quick tip video. But this is if you're moving the robot manually in a teach mode. The top portion of the screen is what we call the notebook. We've got a main tab of the notebook, and that's where it displays the currently loaded program. And on the other side here, we have a visualization of the robot arm itself. We then have a file tab. This is used for moving files into folders, file organization, loading files. You get a preview of what, what's inside the file when you click on a file. And you can create new folders. You can rename stuff. You can delete. Basically, it's a file manager. On the offsets tab, we have display and the ability to modify different sets of offsets. So we have work offsets. If you're a CNC person, you'll know work offsets. In the robot world, they're usually referred to as user frames. But this tab up here allows you to modify user frames or work offsets. There are also tool offsets. This is uh, if you have a gripper or a custom tool or a dispenser of some kind attached to the end of the robot. Um, you can define the geometry of that, uh, which then moves the tool control point from the flange of the end effector all the way out to the end of the tool. And these offsets are described and defined here. And then we have a third tab for machine offsets. You see we've got an 1100MX that is connected to, on the local area network for this. And this machine offset is the position in space of the milling machine relative to the robot. You'll have multiple machine offsets because the robot can be connected to multiple machines on the same network. Next tab over is a setting screen. This handles kind of some of the boring stuff. Are we displaying in degrees or are we displaying in radians? Do we display in millimeters or inches? Which code editor do we want to use? A uh, couple of tools over here for visualizing all the data that's available to you. Conversational screen. We've covered this in a number of other quick tip videos. It's where you can easily create robot programs with the help of some conversational utilities. Uh, they are easy ways to write robot programs. Jog screen, we've covered in other quick tip videos as well. It allows you to move the machine around in a teach mode. And then the last screen is the status screen, displays errors and warnings, um, other messages. Thank you very much for watching. 